Climate change is already affecting the Puna ecosystems of Peru, the grasslands, wetlands, and peatlands on which a lot of the indigenous people of the country depend on. They have ancestral traditional knowledge uh, that builds their adaptive capacity to climate change, yet at the same time, the recent uh, increases in stress from climate change is, uh, affecting the, uh, is affecting the livelihoods. What's exciting about the Resilient Puna project is the integrated approach it takes at managing natural resources, working with communities and putting them at the forefront, while giving them alternative livelihood options that will allow them to build resilience. There will be important health co-benefits as well from the investment that the project will provide, especially improve better nutrition, uh, as well as generally higher food security for the people in this, uh, in this region. The project will also have important environmental co-benefits, as it will significantly contribute to reducing the emissions uh, from these project areas. The Puna facility will work with established or newly created local communities or groups or cooperatives of indigenous people such as the Quechua uh, in identifying the measures uh, that are most adequate for building the resilience of the groups, whether it's ecosystem-based adaptation measures or investing in new um, sustainable value chains. For example, uh, the project could support uh, groups growing their businesses of alpaca rearing or going into new uh, commodities like quinoa um, or expanding their production in ways that are not putting a strain on natural resources while increasing their productivity and their market access. As such, the project tackles the present day challenges at climate change while also preparing the communities for the future shocks.